always a time for everything in life, a time to be born, a time to work, a time when you need to run, a time when you need to get that dream job of yours, a time when you need to acquire that knowledge to get your dream job. I've been Bola Adewale is my name and this is the time for the job show by the job man, wherever you are watching from. I need you to call your loved ones and of course click on the share button and send to all your family and friends that the only show that will give you all job information is live where people can get a job six continent seven continent i tell you you never can beat this this is the only show that will tell you about jobs where the jobs are where the jobs are kept and of course how you can get those jobs by the job man Today we are going straight to Africa and where are we going in Africa? We are definitely going to the largest black nation on earth. I call it Nigeria. People will say, Lagos, Nigeria is not a carry last. But if I tell you, I must tell you, when it comes to job opportunities, then Nigerians will definitely carry last as I speak. Seven job information as we speak on the job show. If you are there, business development officer needed today, HR officers needed today, logistics officers needed today, assistant logistics officer is also needed, accountants are also needed, customer service officers also needed, and of course the last but not the least, vice, the position of the vice president of finance is also needed. Seven is a lucky number, that means seven jobs will definitely be going out on the job show today by the job man. Before we get into the business of today, I need you to keep watching and keep writing those job moving, scrolling on your screen right now, keep writing it down, keep applying for those job information. It doesn't really matter where you are watching me from, Uganda, Sierra Leone, South Africa, Mexico, New Zealand, Australia, France. If I tell you to parler français, that means job opportunity will also be coming to you in French as we speak. And of course, if you are watching from United Kingdom, sincerely, job information will definitely meet your screen as we talk about on the show. Is the job show by the job man. People say that Nigerian government, the present Nigerian government, they are definitely creating jobs. But if you ask me, I tell you in my opinion, no, because the jobs are not there. People are losing jobs. People are flying abroad, seeking for greener pastures, why the young entrepreneurs are not getting the necessary funds to start a business. It looks to me as if everything is in this array. If you ask me, what exactly do you term or categorize Nigerian employment situation to? I will tell you. Take it easy because if you are watching the job show, you must know that Nigeria employment claim by the Nigerian government is nothing to me but what but the I've been I do what it is my name. This is the job. And of course, it's still the job show with the job man I've been Bola I do what Wherever you are watching, we are taking it straight to Nigeria. And of course, bringing it back to the United States of America, as people will say in the state. Come on, my name is Bola. This is the show where we talk more about jobs and jobs, and of course, jobs as we go on the show today i will be definitely be talking about employment process in nigeria and employment process in the united states of america let's get to see how these both parties work and what exactly nigerian community is finding it difficult to meet up with the international standard of getting jobs and the employment process in nigeria bimbola adewale is my name degrees what is a degree? People take degree, people will definitely acquire a degree in, in Nigeria as the guarantee to get a job because you can find millions of graduates on the streets of Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt. I tell you, they will tell you, I am a graduate of economics, I am a graduate of accountancy, but where are the jobs? They can't find the jobs. Let me take you back to 2014 where the Nigerian immigration scandal killed over 13 job seekers in a national stadium. For me, that is a national disgrace. That is a national embarrassment. 
Did anybody go to prison? No. Somebody is still working out there, still making the money. And 13 lives were lost already from that scandal. That's what I'm talking about. Nigerian government, comedy. As you know, that it is the degree that keeps you warm at night, not the heat, according to Kenya West, that says you need money to pay your utility bills, as Americans will say. Back there in Nigeria, you need money to definitely to have to put food on your table, to seek for that dream job, to call your uncles, to also call your family and friends that you need a job. It is a crazy country, if you must agree with me. 200 million people and they can't still get their bearings, put it together. What kind of government do we operate in that country? Oh my God, truly, is it trash? Let's get back to the business of today. If you need to sit on that, I tell you, 20 years, 10 years, we are still there. People talk about the vision 2020. Are we still in 2020? Of course, this is January. Vision 2020 that was pronounced over 20 years ago. Here we have Vision 2020. There are millions of people still seeking for that job. They can still get a job. Everybody is trying to get a certificate or a degree in Nigeria. Why everybody in America will definitely try to get acquire a skills. And if you know it, a skills in America will put food on your table more than a degree that you acquire will never put food on your table. Let's get the application process straight up on today's program. If you are there, I will also tell you. Employment process, as I did talked about, that we're going to look at the employment process in the state and of course the employment process in Nigeria, the largest black nation on earth over 200 million people lives in that country and this one says here for an employment process number one in america it says there must be an online application where an online application in america for every opportunity you come across on the website there must be a link where you can apply put your details and you can send straight to the employer of labor an employer of labor will definitely look at shortlist the names and get back to you as a job seeker but nigeria oh my god you do not need to apply online over 40 percent of applications you see they will tell you to work in and people can work in with their resume and they can select quickly and ask you to go. This is the reason why we had the 2014 stampede that killed over 13 graduates. 13. That is the reason. Make online application available for all job seekers. Use your phone, apply online, and the HR can shortlist the successful candidate that will move to the next level of the application process. That's number one. Number two. It's what I call the questionnaire pattern. The questionnaire pattern, after you must have applied for the, uh, for the job, in America, there is a questionnaire that every job seekers, every prospect, prospectors definitely needs to put and fill up the questionnaire. And the moment you fill that questionnaire, sincerely, that comes to the end of application process in america what that means is if you feel or answer those questionnaires and you don't score eight over ten or ninety percent or eighty percent of that questionnaire then your application process is automatically expired and you are not shortlisted to the next stage of the interview process for nigeria there is no questionnaire I'm yet to see an employer of labor that will give you access to a questionnaire and that questionnaire will determine if you can go to the next level of that application. The third one in America is what I call the background check. In America, you can never get a job without a serious and of course a background check. What does background check do? A background check is for every job seeker or employee that will join an organization. There is a body that will go in there, take your name, take your social security number, 
and do a background check on your name, a background check on your date of birth, a background check of if you've been a criminal or a felony, if you've committed a felony crime before, and of course, if there is no way you can hide from that background check and you will be caught. That means they will do a background check in all of the states in America and find out if your name comes back clean and clear before you can be called for a physical interview in Nigeria. Where are the background checks? I only know of one background check company in Lagos and I doubt it if that background check is still in existence. Every employer in Nigeria must consider to have a background check agency where every job seekers must be screened by a background check organization and your name will definitely come clean. If you don't do that, then we are not getting it right at all as a country in Nigeria. The third one, the fourth one I call the HRO screening. At this point, that's where the HRO will now send you an invite to come for a physical screening. When you do come for a physical screening, the, the HRO will ask you a few questions consigning to the job description that you apply for. You can't be applying for the job of an accountant and you work in there and you'll be asked questions relating to customer service. It's a no-no in America. In Nigeria, I tell you, I've seen a language graduate working in a bank. I've seen a language graduate working as an economist. And I begin to wonder, and I ask myself, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? As a Yoruba graduate working as an economist, I tell you, how do you want to do the mathematics? It will never work. Some will even argue that as a Nigerian, you do not need to have a particular degree to get a particular job. How does that work? <laughs> you know how it works? I'm going to pick up my phone, call my mom or call my dad and say, hello dad. Okay, I got my degree in economics and I want to really work in a manufacturing organized manufacturing firm. Can you get me a job? Some even don't call and just send in their resume and their dad will make a call to a player that is their friend and say, you know what, my daughter just finished and I want you to put her on board in your organization. Did you hear of the scandal that happened with the Central Bank of Nigeria? Where the politicians, the governors, even the presidency are sending candidates to Central Bank of Nigeria for employment? And those information, those job opportunities were never advertised in any of the dailies. That means the policy of man knows man see exists in Nigeria. Where will that take you? Where will it take us as a country called Nigeria? All this gives me worried. And I conclude again by saying that Nigeria, Nigerian employment process for me is still a trap. A big baller at the world's name. Before I go on the show, let me quickly tell you. If you missed any of my job today, please take it easy on yourself. Call the numbers on the screen. Send the mail on the screen. I will definitely pick up your calls and I tell you where the jobs are in Lagos, Abuja, or Port Harcourt. If you are in America, guess what? We are giving our jobs in America come the next episode. Uganda, South Africa, United Kingdom, France, Australia, New Zealand, Uruguay and all of countries that you know of, we are definitely going to give our jobs information. So I'll see you again next week. The same platform, share this news, not the virus, that the job man is on your platform. And I'm going to see you again. Nigeria, unemployment. I'm so worried. Oh God, what a shame.